You think there's hope for that blackboard? There better be, because that's only one we have to write on. You go right ahead. Do you have any kids here, Joe? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Miss Stacy, I have a grandchild here. Yes, ma'am, I have a grandson. Spit an image. He's the handsome one. Hmm, I'll have to think about that one. Is that a dog? That's a cow. Hold on. Hold on a minute. What's wrong with my cow? When did you know you wanted to be a teacher? Because I'm going to be a teacher. Mia Abuela, that's my grandmother. She said I could make my letters when I was just a baby. And you know what? I made A pluses in handwriting. Who did? Where is your abuela? El Paso. I lived there most of my life until Poppy decided we should go to Idaho. But you know what? It's cold in Idaho. Ah, uh, Nelson, Miss Stacy needs somebody who can draw a cow. Well, that's a dog. Well, that's what I told her. <laughs> I just wanted to do some art to lighten things up in here and put them up on the walls, but I'm not, I'm not much of an artist. Yeah, a cow, but I, I, I don't want to take up any of your time. What, you want a Holstein, Jersey, Brahma, a Longhorn? Black and white cow? You want a sad cow? Happy cow, thoughtful cow. A happy cow. A happy black and white cow. Supplies? Mm, yes, but that was for painting and cleaning. This is for my kids. And you need the truck? Aren't you going to be spending more than you make? No, I promise. I'm done after this. I promise. You sure you want to make that promise? Yes, I am. Get that on to me. Thanks. Glad you're home. Time for coming here in a weekend? Uh, Did the school pay for those? Uh, no. <laughs> I told you, Dee, she's just doing this for our kids. Come on, hey. Ready? One, two. Here, I got it. Three. Thank you. Where do you want it? Just over here.
shelter, but it is still a public school. So from now on, there will be no interruptions once class is in session. Yeah. And please see to it that your kids are in class on time. Thanks. speaking at a time and everybody in the circle has to be polite everybody agree with those rules raise your hand okay good so I'd like to start by talking about last week last week I lost my temper quite a bit and it wasn't respectful maybe we should talk about that um, what it means to be respectful yes angel like, you don't get in somebody's face, blah, 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 like that, like you're messing with somebody. That's right, that's not respectful. Sam. I don't think it's good to yell. You're right, yelling is not good. I'm very sorry for yelling. I don't think it's right to do something over and over, like messing with somebody. You're not listening. That's not showing respect. You're right. See, we have to be respectful of our fellow classmates because we want to have a safe, quiet, calm learning environment, right? So, that is our first word. It's a descriptive word, an adjective. Respectful. Grace, do you wanna pin it on the board? Thank you. Anyone else have anything they want to share? Last night, we went to this store and my mom was doing nothing. Cops were messing with her, like, get out of here, like she's a piece of trash. So you felt like the policemen weren't being respectful to your mom? How do you feel when you're around policemen? Scared. I know a nice policeman. Dana. My mother locked us in the basement. It was dark, and a policeman found us, and he carried us up because we couldn't walk, because we didn't have anything to eat, and that's why we don't see our mother anymore. That must have been really scary. 